perfect place. How do you like your um, how do you like your sandwich? <laughs> rate it. I rate it 9.5 out of 10. Oh, 9.5. It would have been more if there was more arugula. Yeah, they they kind of skimped with the with the arugula. I'll say that. Um Okay. All right guys, well we're going to go now. So You guys are the. Can we do it today? Yeah. Let's do it. Go right there. <laughs> you don't rent those. People own those, right? They have a uh, boat rent. Right over there. Okay. There's like an hour. There's like. What the step I would do for this? Six hours. Yeah. Six hours. Yeah. Six hours. Yeah. Six hours.
What the hell? We got the photo booth camera today. Yay! My camera is dead and my charger is in Lawrence's car and he's at work. So I'm like, you know what? It's not gonna stop me from finishing this vlog. I am going to use photo booth. So thanks photo booth. Anyways, I thought I would give some trip updates. Since in this video I didn't like do any like talking or anything because I was so busy living in the moment. I, okay. Number one, I'm breaking out all over my face. You can't see it because I put makeup on, but I'm breaking out all over my face. Thank you, hormones. Second, I have this weird cough that I've had since like two days into this trip. Um... So I quit smoking and I'm really proud of myself because that's like the responsible decision. So yeah, those are my like Tessa updates. My other update is that Sophia left yesterday, which was very sad. It was bittersweet. No, actually it was just sad. Well, no, it was bittersweet. On one hand, we had a really good time and I'm so happy that she was able to come. And I'm so grateful that she was able to even be here because what a rare opportunity for one of my friends from America to be able to come to Europe, Switzerland in particular, and like meet him and get to know him like here instead of being, I don't know, wherever else alone, but probably Philadelphia. It really felt like a special weekend because of that, specifically because of the fact that it's an opportunity that so few of my friends will probably ever have and she just so happened to be conveniently in Europe and able to come come visit us so it was really special the bitter parts were leaving she actually said that Switzerland was her favorite country her favorite European country so far that she's been to and she wants to come back next summer and i'll be here next summer assuming assuming things it just makes me so happy because i'm like yeah maybe maybe i won't like maybe i'll be able to like have my cake and eat it too like have my friends have the people i love and be with my boyfriend in person who knows and they got along so well they're two very different people um they're actually opposites in like many ways but i felt that they were both so committed to understanding each other and getting to know each other so it just helped them click a lot and also just i don't know we had a really good time i don't know how else like what else to say we just had a good ass time it sucks that she had to leave and i wish she were coming back at some other point in the summer but we just keep saying like next summer we'll be here next summer we'll be here like we don't need to be sad because we're literally going to be here next summer but this this was a good weekend and it was a really nice way to transition into me and him being on our own because his parents left like i don't know maybe a day or two before she would got here and i actually felt kind of overwhelmed by the idea of her being here I actually specifically remember the night before being like, I don't feel ready for her to be here. I don't feel settled in here. How can I then get her to feel settled in here? So I, I was so just feeling like it was a lot to do so quickly into the trip. And then she got here and it was literally the perfect weekend. Like seriously, I, I can't exaggerate what a good time we had and how special it was and like i said i'm very grateful for it for i'm grateful that she had the opportunity to meet him and get to know him in the way that i know him because i feel like all of my other friends even though they have met him a few times they've talked with him it's never going to be the same as being in his home 
seeing his friends like she actually met several several of his friends the fact that she got to like meet him and get to know him in this context is something that I don't think many of my friends will probably ever get to experience because of the realities of life and like none of my friends are like booking trips to Switzerland casually so it was just so much fun but anyways I will end the vlog here. Next week, I'm doing a photography vlog because someone commented on my vlog. Can you do a photography vlog? Yes, I can because I have actually been taking pictures here. I'm trying to finish my rolls. I've had the same rolls of film in my camera for probably, no exaggeration, six to eight months. Like my one more like eight, the other one six. I'm ready to just be done with these rolls. It takes me so long sometimes to get through film. So once I finish these rolls, which I hope to do, I don't know, it's been raining here, but I hope to do it the next in the next few days, um, I will put a fresh roll in. I think I'm gonna do my point and shoot for this next video, not my Leica, because my Leica, once again, we have a love, hate, back to love back to hate relationship so i don't i don't think i'm gonna hold off on on any videos based on that camera but i will do my point and shoot 35 millimeter camera and yeah so i think that should be exciting so yeah i'll end the vlog here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video coming soon.